in the minivan really cool skylight thing and just realized I'm in Denver I need to go for a hike I've done this before so luckily I brought my hiking shoes I came to get water and Advil and exciting about checking out a new place like I literally have no idea what's around the corner I have no idea I don't know I just know I have my parking pass on the dash and I guess I'm gonna go find a parking spot sometimes people ask me so you get like scared like why do you hike alone are you afraid I'm like in Colorado I'm really not at all Maybe a rattlesnake might freak me out. It would freak me out. But I just came across a woman and her two dogs and she was by herself with her, well, she was with her dogs and I don't have my dogs. But anyway, it's always kind of nice when you see someone, you're like, okay, people are walking on the trail, especially if they're by themselves. make this stuff up. I was wondering what was making this noise and I couldn't find my glasses earlier so I thought I must have dropped them on the trail. Oh no, they're right here. I must have dropped them and then somebody picked them up because they're all dirty and like put them on my car and thought I would see them but I didn't so I'm driving around with them. It's snowing in Denver and it's snowing. Just pay attention to the road. <laughs> We've been coming to Summit County for as long as I can remember. So it was really easy to just make a quick trip up there after being in Denver. So we had 24 hours and a lot that we wanted to do. Frisco Main Street is so quaint, pretty, adorable. It's so quiet in the snow in the summer. There's cyclists. In the winter, it's just a town that people can stay in and then they can drive up to Breckenridge, you can drive to Keystone, you can drive to Copper. And as you know, I'm always looking for a fun souvenir, like a sticker or some kind of jewelry. And this time, I think I even bought a hand towel for the new van. So yeah, they're tr I talked to someone that lives here and she says that it's really important that the people that work here and serve the community have the opportunity to live in Frisco, but it's so expensive that they can't. So a lot of the teachers and custodians and such drive, you know, 30 miles from Fair Play and other cities like that. So they're creating housing and, and incentives and such to keep out a lot of, say, like the VRBOs, which is why I couldn't find a VRBO here. It's very hard. They're trying to keep it very local and more like a community, which has to be hard in an area like this. There's our bike path. Yeah, it's got snow on it, but you 
can still walk on it. So I didn't even notice these things, but it, oh, here's another one. They're all over, it's called Gold Run, get it? <laughs> I get it now. Name with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jay told me this is a gold mine and an old one, right? Yep. Did they just dig down into it? Mm -hmm. things that the ski patrol puts off purposely to get snow Ooh, I'm sliding oh my god <laughs> off of the mountain to avoid avalanches it's kind of cool it's you can just hear it in the distance it just sounds like thunder yeah it does it's like what you kind of just go what is that okay dear how far did we hike 45 minutes yes 45 minutes do we know how far we went and the big question is, am I ready for that? 1.62 miles. I'm definitely ready for that 14er now. That's right. I mean, after that. <laughs> uh, right? No, it's beautiful. Be over a three mile round trip, so it's not bad. Isn't this neat? Wow. And the bride is actually like coming. We saw her. So pretty. What a great place to have a wedding, right? spending three days in Denver it was so refreshing to get to the mountains even for how long was it like 24 hours 24 hours so what do we do in that 24 hours we went oh we shopped around in Frisco and in Breckenridge briefly yep went for a hike oh we had lunch at the crown we had lunch at the crown in Breckenridge um we had dinner with Paula and Bruce at a really nice restaurant and we woke up went to the Butterhorn and had a hike and I had a shower which is a big <laughs> deal which is a very big deal so it was very successful mm -hmm. 